Okay, everyone, hello, Tranche Dan here, joined today by Dan's Wildlife, and we kind of came over to my channel. We just did a video on his YouTube channel um, to reveal his sort of new pet, and yeah. uh, it was kind of a bit quiet on the stream, so Dan sort of just kind of volunteered to come onto my channel to do my stream. So that is what we're doing. So, yeah, hello to everyone. Uh, if you saw Dan's stream, you will know exactly what it is that we're going to be sort of talking about and showing off and things like that. If you weren't in a stream, firstly, why weren't you? And also, you should have been. Anyway, so um, hello to everyone. Uh, Molly, you're actually second. Ben Exotics uh, was first. So I'm just going to get that out there. Uh, so hello, everyone. Um, hello, guys. So yeah, it's me, Dan, uh, with Dan. So if you have a question, please make sure you specify whether it's Dan or Dan. Um, <laughs> so that we know which one you're talking Dan about. Dan or Ferret Dan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so shout out to the Hardcore 12 May. If you want a shout out, uh, good day, hello. Um, I've just gave you one, don't be greedy. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're gonna be here and we're gonna be Dan 2 and Dan 1. Yes, he's Dan 1 because he's the oldest. <laughs> yes, oh, of, of which, of course, uh, it is Dan's birthday in a few days. So uh, feel free to fill him with birthday love and call him an old git and say happy birthday to him. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, we're here. I'm actually at Dan's house today doing some filming. And she, <laughs> uh, yeah, Dan has got uh, he's got a few animals. He's got uh, uh, some I've got vinegroons. a few inverts. Yeah, a couple of vinegroons and is it one uh, two two red apple vampire crabs. Yep, uh, two of those. And he also has some other um, some other animals which are adorable. And so we're going to be sort of showing you those and talking about them. So um, Dan two, will you be at the show? Am I Dan two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you're, you're baby yeah, Dan. Okay. Yeah, so, ba ba baby Dan and Dan. Which show is this? Um, the next show will be the Eastern show, which is September the sixteenth. Yes, I will be there. You getting a lift? You can take him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, the next show, of course, is the sixteenth of September. The Eastern show, which Dan will be coming up with myself. Could yeah, really I, I did say that I would come to the next one, being as I didn't come to the Western because I just I've had no money. With the new edition, haven't been able to go anywhere because he's still young, so uh, he needs supervision. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully by then he should be able to sort of, you know, get away for a night. Of course, I'll be staying over the night before, as will Dan, and uh, it should be a really, really good show. I already know sort of things that are going on there, so it should be, should be really, really good. Hello to Adrian, who's back again with them tough questions. Uh, feel free to fire them at myself and Dan. Um, hello to Rockney King. Hello, um, hello. Baby um, Dan, do I have a girlfriend? No. There you go. <laughs> if anyone, if anyone is interested in Dan, um, you, he, I, you know, I can sort of loan him out to you for, for a fee kind of thing, <laughs> you know. Uh, but no, no, he isn't. Uh, well, he's not taken, and he's wonderful. He's a wonderful man. I mean, his beard alone and his lovely, lovely hair. Non hair. <laughs> yeah. No, he's amazing. So, um, but yeah, hello to everyone. Dan Juan, how much spoilers do you have? A lot. Um, Dan, are you considering keeping ants? Yes, I would like to keep ants somewhere in the I future. I would like to keep ants as well, to be honest. Baby Dan, do you a... have a girlfriend? Hello to Sidex. Is that another one asking if I've got a I think it's the same person, nah, right, Molly. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm not that popular. You've got, you've got yourself, <laughs> an, you've got yourself <laughs> an admirer, Dan. Um... So yeah, this uh, as I say, this guest is Dan, who's like my my, my best friend. Um, we did a live stream on his channel. Not many people came to it, which is a bit of a shame. So in the description of this video, there's a link at the very top to his channel. Please go over, subscribe to him, and um, click that bell as well. Get notified. That's it. And then like just comment random stuff on his videos. That would make me very very happy. That's all I want. It's just random things, you know. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be sort of having a chat with you guys for a bit, and um, then we're gonna be sort of showing off some some cool things. Um, <laughs> uh, Dan Juan, how much animals do you have? I have a lot. Um, have you guys? Uh, no, we don't. Dan's birthday is the first of August. My birthday is twelfth of March. So I'm sort of, you know, several months older than him, which is why he's the baby. Of uh, out of the two of us, yeah. But um, yeah. See, I was going to uh, introduce Lady to you all. Uh, I think you've seen 
if you've watched Dan's videos, yeah. you've seen you have seen Lady before, but she's <laughs> and she is awake. So if you do you want to pass her here, she, if she doesn't bite him, <laughs> Dan's been bit more times today than he has in twenty two years. Of, well, in twenty years of keeping animals, <laughs> that's Lady. That is my oldest ferret. She's a. To be honest, I don't know what ferret she is. I, I'm a, I think she's a polecat. Uh, I'm not sure. She could be a Sandy. I don't know. Um, I got her as a rescue along with her sister, uh, whose name is Nymeria. Uh, Lady and Nim, if you're Game of Thrones fans, you'll understand. Uh, yeah, they're uh, they're great. I did have Nim. Nim unfortunately passed away in March. So uh, that. we've still got Lady running around. But we've got another edition. Which is the one that we'll be showing you in a minute, and it's adorable. Also, guys, if you're watching this, please hit the like button. It does really, really help. Uh, like the video, and of course, uh, check out Dan, and we're going to be sort of talking about ferrets and other things. Gosh, she's so wonderful. She's like she's going to sleep. She probably will. Look at that. You can probably just put it down and touch so you can actually see her. And she's like so chilled out. Oh, she bites me. Mm. Mm. Oh, she's wonderful. So look at the comments I keep. Um, yeah, what's my opinions on natural vivariums? Uh, I like them. I do like them. I think they're wonderful. That's a hard question, Adrian. Is it Adrian the one with the hard questions? Um, oh. Yes. <laughs> Adrian. As somebody that doesn't keep old or new tarantulas, old or new world tarantulas, um, give me a selection. You should know these. Yeah, I, I don't know any. Okay, so, um, old like, world... I'm, I'm aware of the terms old and new world tarantulas, but I couldn't give you classifications of which... So, okay, so, I, don't know. I, I would say for you... Okay, think, think about what my collection, which ones you like. Oh, that's okay. Um, Zelda. That's like Power Banner. Yeah, that's yeah. New World. That's New World. Okay. Yeah. Are your old worlds more your pokies and stuff? There you go. Yeah. Right, okay. Pokies and baboons and things. Okay, so Old World P Metallica, just because of the colouring. And <laughs> you're gonna rip my shirt up. <laughs> uh New World Zelda is probably one of my was uh is Steve. Remember see Steve? Steve, yeah, yeah. He uh, Nando Cremitus. That's that, uh he, New World as well. Nando Cremitus, only because like, that was my favourite spider of Dan's that only had what, three legs or four legs? Four or legs. Yeah. And then got eaten. And then got eaten. Yeah, shame. So yeah, there you go. So, which ones? Old World and New World? P Metallica or Old World? Or Pokemon Yeah. Uh, and New World. Nandu. Nandu. Good choice. Um, Shout out to Hall... I can't pronounce your last name. <laughs> yeah. Harry. 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 I've even got glasses on, I can't see. What country do we guys live in? Uh, we're in We're in England. Yeah, we're, we're both English. Um... We live in the south side of Birmingham, central. So, ants likes ducks. Congratulations! What country do you guys live in? England. What would your dream pets for both of you? Easy. I want a sloth. Either sloth. yeah, I'd love a three three toed sloth or sloth. I, I say sloth. Three toed sloth or oh, a um. Should we go to sleep again? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Going <laughs> to sleep. Uh, three toed sloth or a skunk. For me, what about you? He's gone to sleep. Um, mm, it's a hard question. Not really. What, what? Which animal? Which? What you do? I like. Pets? I like a lot of animals. You can pick one. Let me really. Dream pets. Okay. Yeah. Killer whale. Because <laughs> they're friendly. Hope yours isn't. <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster, isn't it? Really. Should you try and pronounce that name? Harry Mahendra Raja. <laughs> I think I just, just like beat it out again saying this is what it is. It's, it's just, it says it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, can you keep head, red-headed mouse spiders in Europe? Um, I believe so. Northampton. That's not that far from us. Watching this the same as I watched yesterday. Cup of tea in hand and cuddling my beardy. Yeah, I would love to cuddle my beardy. However, she normally tries to eat my earlobes. So uh, <laughs> for that reason, she sort of stays away. Although yesterday I did give Ramsey absolutely killer feeding. She's been eating um, big um, beetle grub larva. Uh, she's been eating some of those. 
and uh, loads of hoppers and different things. So she's sort of well fed and is feeling quite full today. I got it right. <laughs> I just saw Harry's comment and then I actually pronounced it right. Oh, well done. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> um, do you like crickets even after... No, I don't like crickets. I don't like crickets at all. Dan Juan, when did you uh, get your first spider? I got my first spider, I don't know, like 10 years ago. Was Titan your first? No, I had Thor. Jeep uh, nice. Labelled as G-Rose, they are labelled incorrectly, as people do at pet shops. So, um, yeah, you're lit. <laughs> there you go, that's what they said. Dan Juan, how was a bike? It's really, really good. Um, not riding today because it's wet, but I was out on it like four last week, to be fair. Um... Not the fun. People at work have been telling me that my bike sounds a lot louder than what it originally was, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, how's your bike? Have you still got it? It's outside rusty. Oh, is it? Yeah. I need to sh I've got sprockets, actually, that I need to uh, replace and a new chain, but it'll be back on the road soon. Yeah. Dan's also got a bike as well. So I actually took Dan when he did his CBT. Yeah. I took him to his CBT on the back of my bike <laughs> and then went to the white horse paddock. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to uh we went to went to a carvery afterwards to celebrate him somehow miraculously passing his CBT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good times. Good oh, times. Class. Just subbed, thank you to Harry. Would you rather own scorpions or tarantulas? That's a good question because I've actually mentioned this on my Instagram today. The next show I want to get a scorpion. Okay. So I'm thinking about big black forest. Also, I mean, if, if you do come to the uh, the Eastern show, which I say is in Bedford, if you do come there, I will be there. Obviously, trading probably with the spider shop um, and sort of running around filming and things. But Dan will be there loitering more than likely by by himself. So if you see him by himself, feel free to go and sort of keep him company for Please a few do. seconds. Please go and say hello to him. Because he is he's awesome. He's awesome. Um, as for that question from me, of course, I don't rather own tarantulas. Uh, because I have more tarantulas than scorpions. I like scorpions, but they're not my they're not my major thing. Um, uh, oh, they're, they're Sri Lanka. From Sri Lanka. Ah. Good beginner's tarantula, Dan. You don't tarantula on? You seen enough of my videos and you should know this. What I would put Now I've seen a few videos and a lot of them say is it Mexican Brazilian black. Brazilian black, yeah. Brazilian black go on, go, go on sort of porker. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You'll have to mind me, I'm, I can't do Latin names because I'm not as learned as this man here. <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> learned. <laughs> Educated in the names I've spoiled. I'm not as learned. Yeah. That is a word, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it? Sounds like you just made it up on the spot. But yeah, G. Pulchra, um, come out to Palma Sign of Pubescence, uh, are the two that I personally recommend the most. Um, how would you not get scared of the spiders? I have a tip because I'm scared of spiders. Uh, I'm just not scared of them. I just don't, I don't, the way that they look, the way they move, the way they feed, the way they grow, uh, They. I just don't find them creepy at all. Dan, are you scared of spiders? I used to be until... I started going around Dan's a lot more. You just, get, you just get used to them. Yeah, there you go. So exposure. Yeah, watch videos of them. If you see them, try and get up close to them, have a look at them. Um, and you'll get over your fear in no time. Or some period of time, maybe. Um, what bike do you have? Um, I have a Suzuki GSXR. You don't want to know what mine is. <laughs> no, we'll leave that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, his his bike that he's got now... It used to be Dan's. It used to be my bike, and I sold it to him really, really cheap for, like, literally... 200. 200 quid. Yeah. Like, pennies, and said to him, you can have this bike, but Cause only... Because it's, it's a crap bike. Yeah, it's not very so good. it's not really worth much. So, It's his... not aged well. No. They've been ridden well. And I said to him, have this bike for 200 quid, pay me in installments, but you need to get rid of it, like, you know, as soon as you can, basically. Like, four years later. Four years <laughs> later, and it still works. <laughs> I don't know how. And it's a South Korean bike, so it's not, mate, it's... Is it right? South Korean? Yeah, it is. Oh, I always used to think they were Chinese, but now they're South Korean. So, yeah. But, uh... It's just, it's just a death trap to ride at the moment. I wouldn't ride it. You can't ride it. Can't ride it at the moment. The back wheel's seized up. It's that rusted. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, black crickets. I think crickets in general are just sort of not very nice, shall we say. Sticks are pretty. They are indeed. Do we, do we have any, any sticks in here, have we? 
You ain't no sticks, you can jump. It's not a stick. It's corkwood. <laughs> <laughs> not quite the same. <laughs> not quite the same. Yeah, Brachypalma Mori are really good. Any of the Brachypalma genus are fantastic. Um, where's that? Where's what? <laughs> Sorry. I would not be able to guess where you live. M no. Start at Earth. I was just looking at your picture. What is yeah, it? Earth. Yeah, we'll start at Earth and narrow it down. Uh, Bite those that are leaving. Um, dark frogs. I would like to own some of those. Um, never tried swimming with crocodiles, but I would probably give it a go. I wouldn't swim with crocs, but I'd swim with sharks. Would you? Yeah. Have you got eaten? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ramsey is really, really good. Um, no, my video of the last show is being heavily edited, but there's that much to edit. It's going to take me a long time, so hopefully I should have it up in the next week or so. Is what I'm hoping. It's just going to take take a while. Uh, Hurts and Duns. Angelo, you mentioned a show coming up. Yeah, so if you go on to Facebook and type in Invert Shows UK, the next show is the Eastern Invert Show, which is in Bedford, uh, 16th of September, I think it is. Um, that's the next show. At least I'll be. A, what do you call a female daddy long leg? A mommy long legs. <laughs> that just reminds me of a really awful homophobic joke that I saw on Facebook. <laughs> okay, well maybe not, this is not the place for yeah, homophobic no. jokes. Um, so uh, yeah, hello to everyone. The bios. I don't mean by that. Sorry. So yeah, um, is that is he asleep? He's gone to sleep, but oh. I'll, I'll still get him out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we've got a few people here. I think we should sort of show actually the point of this video as well as sort of chatting to you guys. Yeah. But basically Dan's had a new animal and so we're going to be showing it to you. Also, if you look in the description, um Oh, okay, I've just got his uh, a message. Thank you. Um in the description of this video, at the very top, there is a link to Dan's YouTube channel. Please go over and subscribe to him, and you can see more videos on this particular animal that he's going to get out in a minute. Um, okay. It's he adorable. Is fast asleep. Right? Oh. Uh, now, for a bit of context, I'm a ferret man. Like, so you <laughs> probably guessed that it's, you know, probably going to be a ferret. He's nine weeks old. His name is Boba Ferret. Oh. And he's a silver mitt crossed e European polka. And he's gorgeous. <laughs> Boba Ferret. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's adorable. I really like this little guy. He's literally just curling up in my hands. Because he's a bit tired. We've got some responses. To be fair, we were just sort of running around. Hello to Peter, hope you're having a lot of time in, in Florida. Oh, Grant, yes, now I know you, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, how are you doing? Did you manage to sell those tanks? Um, this Grant, uh, build really nice, he has um, enclosures, I think they're from like Custom Aquaria, and then he gets all sort the of plants and things in them, so they're like bioactive. Really, really cool tanks, nice. cool. really, really nice. Okay, Adrian's back with another one. Uh, do you have any plans in the future in keeping more exotic reptiles? Uh, personally, yes, I would. Uh, I would love to keep a variety of different reptiles. Um, it's just, you know, now is not the time for that, but in the future, I will definitely be... Uh... He's tired. Oh. In the future, I'll definitely be in some more reptiles. I've just seen one that uh, I can answer. Is it illegal in the UK to feed your snakes or tarantulas live rodents? Yes, it is. Yeah. You're not allowed to feed live prey, uh, anything other than inverts. Anything other than inverts, because I think there's been a scientific study to show that apparently anything smaller than a cricket or a, I think it's a grasshopper or something, can't physically feel the pain that it feels when it's fed, when it's fed live to something. Yeah. But a, a mouse can. Yeah. So. I actually had some people on my Facebook that have added me recently, just people from YouTube, uh, subscribers and things. 
and someone was sharing videos of um, people sort of feeding um, um, was it like a kitten, a puppy, yeah, a bunny rabbit, it's disgusting. Um, small lizards, uh, snakes, and things to you know, to other snakes and things. I was in front, unfriend of them. I don't want to see that kind of thing. I don't think. I know it might seem strange because obviously I feed crickets and things, but I, I, I don't. That doesn't bother me compared to say things like say you know feeding a puppy to a snake. I think is just cruel, personally. People claim that feeding live prey to something that would eat live prey in the wild have this kind of weird perception of what natural is it's not natural to feed something in captivity something that's alive because that thing that's being you know used as food yeah has no possible way to escape in the wild it would so it's not natural yeah so yeah that's my well our answer on that i think um angie is in love with the ferris yeah it's a shame actually that it sort of has a He's literally he's collapsed. Asleep. He's so but tired. If you go on to uh, Dan's channel, we did a live stream like what, half an hour ago or something. Yeah, something. Like, we started at uh, 12 o'clock this live stream and he was running around and everything. So you can see him um, in his sort of full glory kind of thing. He was just wonderful. But he is exhausted, which is a shame. Uh, you can't really see him, but he's, yeah, he's asleep. So, um, um, Oh, uh, Grant, I'm glad you sold some. Um, Meg, we're Thank off you, now. Mate. Seen a bit, Dan. Have a good birthday again, Dan. A uh, baby, Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello to uh, Deb and Triv and Meg as well. Hope you have a nice time. They're going to the... Um, there's like a rally on it. Outside uh, Bridge North, I think it is. or Bu Outside Bugley for uh, like classic cars. So ah, right, there. She's, ta she's taking a mini there, yeah. I think. What do you feed your ferrets? There you go, some stuff. What do I feed my ferrets? It's food. downstairs, isn't it? Um, <coughs> lots, of, <laughs> lots of food. <laughs> now, people, other ferret owners, and me included, do obviously realise the benefits of a raw diet because obviously they eat meat. Like in the wild, they would live on rabbits. But um, now, what I do feed them is James' well beloved kibble. It's as grain free as I can afford because grain free food costs an absolute fortune. Um, but no, every ferret that I've had has loved it. Wolfs it down completely. And uh, yeah, that's what I feed them. I would like to feed them a raw diet, but I can't physically afford to Expensive, buy. Expensive, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I, I have to buy raw food every day for them to eat, and I just won't be able to afford it. Could it go like Hunter Rabbit? Could. Well, that was. I'm actually thinking of getting ferrets to work maybe early next year, and then I can start getting raw diets for all my ferrets then. Because I'll no. start going ferreting. No, a little bit. And with that one, you mentioned in, in Dan's uh, live stream <coughs> that we did not too long ago, you did mention that you, you moisten those ones for him? Yeah, I moisten those ones for him. Lady eats them completely dry. She does have trouble sometimes when they get caught, they do get caught in the roof of her mouth, but then I have to kind of help her get it out it's a nightmare but um with him because he's only nine weeks his teeth aren't fully developed yet so he's got to have it all mushed up for him bless him or softened at least um ash smith favorite invert you don't yet have you can have, you can have that one as well favorite invert you don't yet have scorpion okay i've been looking at scorpions and i really fancy scorpions at the moment see for me there's two inverts i'm after the moment first one there is uh, the Pampa Beta species Solaris, which I will get at some point in the near future. Uh, but they're quite expensive, about, you know, about sort of £500 for a sling. Wow. And the second one is the Malaysian Jeweled Centipede, which I will be getting at some point. I know someone's got one, I'm just waiting for, for things to go through. Um, I'm in a, a bit of a rut between buying a costume uh, for the show. <laughs> Did you see the picture of the last... Yeah, yeah, terrible. If you saw me at the last show, the costume was terrible. So it's like buying a, a really good costume to wherever it shows. Uh, buying and building a Sony A6500 rig with the uh, screens and microphones and things on it, or I can just go and spend an absolute load of money on tranchulas and inverts. So um, your answer to that, Grant? Yes, I'm aware that uh, it is. It's not illegal if the snake has refused frozen and other options of food. Yeah, thankfully with mine, mine didn't refuse. 
dead food. It's very rare that a snake's going to refuse food anyway. Well, they're, they're, they're usually quite good eaters. Yeah. Uh, mealworms, I do feed mealworms and superworms, but I prefer to use uh, hoppers or cockroaches, personally. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, Adrian, Dan Juan, what is the next invert that you do not own that you are planning next purchase? Uh, my next purchase will probably be the Malaysian Jewel Centipede. I think that's the one I'm after. So I know someone's got one. I was meant to have gone on the last show, but then finances went other places, unfortunately. So, in the future, it will be that one, which you will see a video of that. Um, let's see. If I scroll down, I'm way, way behind. Um, do you do you your pet mealworms and superworms? I don't mean by that. Hello to Dan and Dan. You should keep ants, Dan. Yes, I would like to keep ants. It's just um, space. Space. Yeah, for me, it's space. Um, I want to get a ferret kit. I used to have a jill called Foxy. Oh, see, I I said in, again in the previous video. There's a gentleman that I know from the show. It's called Tarlock. And he actually messaged me and offered me one. A he offered me a kit if I wanted one because he uh, had kits basically. But for me, it's just the space. Um, I don't have the space for them. And to be fair, time as well because when I go to like shows and travelling and things, it, like we, when you're not here, you've got people that can look after them. Yeah. I guess. Whereas for me, if I was like travelling to shows or going to other countries and things, I there wouldn't be anyone to look after my animals with me, which is the beauty of spiders. Because I can water them like before I go and come back and they will find pretty much. So um So yeah. Um Yeah, the jewel is that is next that will be definitely get one. How did it feel being dressed as Spider Man? Um I use the word Spider Man very, very loosely. Uh I don't know what to say. It wasn't uh the one that the costume that I, I'm looking at trying to get is actually a movie replica costume. That it looks like the exact same one from the movie. Quite expensive, but I thought it'd be really, really good. Of course, <laughs> the one that I ended up wearing at the show um, looked like this gentleman next to me had made it out of a bed sheet. Um, <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> it was not, not costume designer. No, no, it wasn't the best costume. So uh, it was a bit. At first, it was a bit embarrassing, to be fair, but then I just thought, oh, you know, I was going to just, just try and roll with it, you know. It was hot. That's the main thing. It was really, really hot. So, uh, yeah. Anyone know how to cook the best roast potatoes? Goose fat. Goose fat. Yeah. Or any kind of oil. Just keep basting them in the juices of the... Like, cook them with the meat. <laughs> See, what, when I do roast potatoes, this is like going to cook it. Because you like cooking, don't you, as well? Yeah, yeah. Like, both of us, we like... We could do like you know the hairy bikers. Oh yeah. We could do like yeah. hairy shit biker and beard, be, you know, uh, yeah. beardless good biker. Um, baby face biker. <laughs> baby face biker and shit biker. <laughs> <laughs> no, we both like love cooking. Um, for me, roasties, partly obviously would you peel them, part boil them, uh, get the goose fat, um, really really hot, stir it all in, and then when they sort of cook. Um, they go like, proper like roasty. They're amazing. Do you like roasties? Oh, I, I love roasties. Roasties with loads of gravy on them and uh, Coleman's mustard. It's wonderful. There he is. He's up. He's very lung at the moment. He keeps growing daily. It's really strange. Oh, I'm kidding. It's amazing. So yeah, there's the <laughs> there's, uh, that's how to do roasties, and that's how I do them. Um, Um, no, I'm not Australian. Um, uh, trying to read through the comments. Will they have Leos at the Invert Show coming up? No, they won't. If I'm a Leo. <laughs> get out. Uh, <laughs> Leos will be at the uh, the IHS in Doncaster. With the next one, I'll be the next IHS show I'll be going to will be Don uh, in November, I think it is. But they have them every sort of like two to three months. So uh, they have Leos, Bearded Dragons, Chameleons, loads of things. And then obviously, I believe the Spider Shop will be there as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
Um, yes, it was a, it, it, it shabby. As far as the word shabby goes for costume, it's an understatement. It was not uh, not the best, to be fair. Uh, what animal animals would you actually get next, Dan's W? So what animals would I get next? Was that uh, yeah, so this was asked by uh, by the onion farmer. Um, okay. What other animals would you actually get next? Okay. Um, next animal is probably going to be the scorpion. But if I decide to get anything else, because like, I like to revolve my channel around pretty much everything. Like, I like my inverts. Some of them, <laughs> ferrets, mammals, birds. I'm open to getting birds. I was actually thinking about getting a barn owl. Yeah, that's probably going to be uh, the next big thing that I get. But again, I need to I need to build an aviary. <laughs> Dan doesn't like getting beat. <laughs> it, it, it probably attacks me though. <laughs> it looks really cute, and then it's just like it's like a devil. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute though, you gotta you have to forgive him. <laughs> He's got the hiccup. You can probably hear him. Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd like get him a bit. Um <laughs> Yeah, and as for your question to me, Sidex, uh, onion farm <coughs> Sidex. Um and my thought was doing good, I fed them this morning. They were all doing really, really well. Um, oh yeah, rosemary as well, you can't forget rosemary. And also crack some salt and black pepper on it as well. Oh, you can't use our besties, Phil. Can't do that. Who uses... Uh, who... The guy who asked the question, Phil. Oh, no, that's lazy. Although I will say our besties, Yorkshire puddings. Is my ferret part Angora? No, uh, if you're on about boba... Uh, he... <coughs> Sorry. He's a European polecat crossed silver mitt. <coughs> Get a bit more here than I do at home. <laughs> um, so, uh, I reckon King, I saw his channel on YouTube and he gives all his third photos and other large ranchers. Yeah, people do feed them uh, reptiles and animals. Is mammals. he from Britain though? No, he's not. I don't think. Uh, but in the UK, it's illegal. And to be fair, even if it was legal in here to feed live food like that, I still wouldn't do it. I wouldn't partake in that. Hello to Anne Cyprus. Um, also, Dan, I forgot to tell you, you're one of my favourite uh, oh, YouTubers. Thank you. There you go, Dan. <laughs> I think he's on that you, then. <laughs> um, hel uh, hello to Hamel from Germany. Um, I, I do have a Hipscott Immaculata, yes, Togo Starburst Tarantula. I have three of those. Um, Other than what we already know, mate, um, any news in regards to the Brazilian country situation? To be fair, there's a lot going on with that. I There's still more things coming out. In terms, it turns out that some of the things I said was maybe not... I didn't understand it fully. Um, but I will do an update video on that um, in the next week or so. Thank you, Angel Bugs. So yeah, my two jewels, uh, they're wonderful. I got them both like yesterday. They're both fed. Um, they're alive, which is is good. So yeah, they're both doing really well. I think Janoxus wants a shout out. Yeah, Janoxus, hey, don't have a shout out. I've been watching you since that Huntsman Spider pops out to your channel. Um, yeah, well, thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, and yeah, there's your shout out. Hope you're doing well. Hello to Jack's Web. Um, Bruce. Uh, I think there's a ferret comment just up there. Then. Silver mid pole, that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's another one. Ah, he's a nice little hob. He definitely an angora ferret. That's what we've got. We've got a feeling that he's going to be as fluffy as an angora. <laughs> but uh, he's yeah. adorable. He is. I really like him. Go then. Excuse me. Another question. Uh, silver mid pole makes sense if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I makes. I, I mean, I'm clueless with it. When it comes to ferrets, we like so ball reversal. It's yeah. like you get different species or like different colourings in ferrets. 
So you can have obviously white, you can have albino, you can have uh, I think sand is one. Uh, then you've got silver mitt, which is what he's crossed with. Oh, and then yeah. you've got European polecat, which is European polecats are just European polecats, but they've been tanned. Okay. So European polecat is the wild variant of a ferret. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because we went, we were looking for some of those when we came back, but we didn't find any. Yeah. Um, uh, Philip, do you have have trouble pulling women seeing as you keep spiders? Uh, yeah. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's to say that like that no I it's never it's never caused me any sort of trouble at all um, in fact most women are more impressed because they know that should they find a spider in the bathtub they've got someone that will be more than happy to sort of collect it and then you know keep it in their collection for a while so <laughs> so yeah no I don't have any problem with that um so, Dan, well, what's your largest tea in your collection, and uh, what is the rarest tea in your collection? Largest at the moment, currently, it's Zolder, my last year, or Power High Banner, Brazilian Salmon, and Bonita. Uh, the rarest part of my collection, of course, is the Brazilian Jaw Tarantula, which is Typho Trina Celadonia, of which I have two of those. So, as well as being very lucky, I'm also very, very greedy when it comes to those <laughs> spiders. Um, but they are awesome spiders. Favourite species? Uh, this changes, it's so hard. Uh, it's like B. Amelia, G. Pulchra, um, T. Sardonia, El Pavo Hibana, M. Bafori, P. Metallica, <laughs> or Phalax. Do like um, Celo Brachy species are actually blue, I like those as well. Um, most Brachys, in fact, Pokies. I like Camel Spiders, most Bugs. <laughs> I like, it's very hard to pick one, I just like lots of things. Uh, my tea Sardonia. Um, it, I'll just talk about the whole legality of that in a future video, but yeah, I will be breeding them in the future. What happened to the cricket that killed your huntsman? <laughs> um, it was thrown in with a pokey. And, um, yeah. It, it didn't kill another spider. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> it's, ki it's, it, it's, it's, it's kill streak was over, to be fair. Uh, Ash Smith, uh, no problem. No problem. I've uh, seen... Um, Joseph Carter, the mink man. Uh, I'm assuming that's is he can, is he Canadian, I think, or is he American? But uh, he's got a lot of mink, and he's bred aggressiveness out of minks, and he uses his minks to hunt rats yeah. along with his dogs. Yeah, his videos are actually really good. No, oh, I'm have to check him out. Where would you recommend buying your tea Sardonia from? Well, you can't buy my tea Sardonia because it's mine. As for if you're after a particular one. Uh, Pulp Fiction, Tarantulas, Spiders World EU uh, are probably the best places at the moment. Maybe the spider shop, they can, might be able to get them in for you. But you are looking at probably about €800 Euros, um, for one of those. Dan knows his stuff. Is that Dan or Dan? I don't know which one. Not him, Dan. Uh, Dan's um, not alive, you just uploaded a video. We did a live stream earlier, that was uploaded. Yeah. The uh, last video we uploaded was a couple of days ago, and that was me giving Lady a bath and clipping her nails. Just, just care video sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Just a bit of a pamper day for Lady. Bless <laughs> she her. needs her nails done again now. She's fast asleep under one of my shirts. Yeah, she's just down here, just sort of, you're going to see her toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the live stream that we did on Dan's uh, channel was to sort of um, show off uh Boba Ferret. <laughs> yeah. Boba Ferret. Boba Ferret. Uh to show to show him off to, to people. Um which if you watch that video you can see see the ferret running around and being very playful and things, which is why now he's asleep because we've sort of tired him out. And he's asleep in the most awkward position. Oh he looks <laughs> He's like He's literally in no. a little gap that's between the litter tray well, and gonna... the wall. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tilt this. Wrong way. If I tilt it like so, let's have a look at him. <laughs> He's done a nice poop for as well, dude. Yeah. But uh, then he clean it out again. Uh, which way is it going? There we go. So yeah, um, he's currently sort of a asleep and is all sort of. Killed up and things. I've got pins and needles in my leg. Yeah, I'm just using my leg. Oh, pins and needles really, really bad. Um, it's getting old, done. It is. So, yeah. 
Um, Whoa. Uh, Philip Simpson, so gone fire the quicker they escape from his living room chirping and <laughs> shit. I know that. I had a, I had um oh, I've got pins and needles in my leg, it's really bad. I had a cricket escape in my house and we found under the sort of floorboards. Should we sit on the bed? Yeah, that might be better actually. Let's... My legs are just arrange from... the camera because our legs are dying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wrong way. Yeah. Um might be a little bit better doing this, I think. If you can sort of bear with us for two oh, seconds better. while I do this, but yeah, I pop a pin the needles in. Um Yeah, I had a I had a cricket escape. And we found it under the floorboards about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it was not very, uh, it was not very good, I tell you. We were sort of sick of it. Uh, continuing with the comments, Dan from the Philippines here. What species of, what species of oldest tarantula? If you mean the oldest tarantula, that would be Zelda. She's about 10 years old. Um, have you seen male tarantulas kill female tarantulas? Personally, no. But I have heard of, I know a guy... He was breeding at the time they were Vicularia versicolor, which were then renamed into Cariburna or Caribbean versicolor. He put a male in the breed and he ate the female, which would be absolutely gutting. But not happened to me, so I'm glad you know of him. I think that's aimed at you. In in by the mink man. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm being called. Two seconds, go on then. I'll continue to message people whilst uh whilst doing this. Dan's Wildlife, I'll get over to your channel ASAP after this and sub. Yeah, thank you for checking him out. So he's like, he's a good friend of mine and I like to get more people to go and check him out. He does come to the shows with me. He does come to my house and does videos with me there. So it'd be nice for sort of more of you to sort of get to know him a little bit and check him out. Um, okay, there's a bruise there which is aimed at um, Dan. So I'll wait for Dan to get back before. This for you. Uh, Bruce Bruce asks, do you feed your favourite quail's eggs as treats? Chicken eggs as treats. You do chicken eggs? Yeah. Okay. That was asked by Bruce Bruce. Uh, most aggressive species besides OBT. OBTs aren't, the OBTs are more defensive than aggressive. Um, for me, um, I had a wonderful threat posture the other day off a um, severe pagopus lividum. Which was uh, wonderful. Dan W, can you put your ferret in your head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would, but they're both asleep at the moment. And I don't want to... Keep waking them up. Keep fair. waking them up. There you go, there's... You got another admirer there? What was that? It's two handsome Dans. Hope you're both good. Oh. That's from Scarlet. Hello, Thank Scarlet. <laughs> can I pet Ramsey? Uh... If I were to take her to a show, then you probably could. But the likelihood of me taking her with me is very slim because she's an absolute cowbag. So, um, yeah. Uh, built in style. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, there's a piece of invert you wouldn't have in your collection. Um, no, not really. If I had if if I had a deal of and I could keep anything and everything, then I would have everything, pretty much. Um... Yes, I would breeding my tea stirmy. Um, I have a keeping my worms hydrated. I just use like uh, sort of the fruit and vegetables that I feed them. Um, they get hydrated from that. But to be fair, my sort of feeders don't normally last long enough to require that much in terms of hydration and things because they're normally fed off in you know a couple of days, sort of thing. So. Uh, my pecans always set postures me every time I open her enclosure. My um my severe pagopus was actually uh, in death kill the other day. Um I think it was just sort of too warm and whatever. So I sprayed the enclosure out, got a locust, I cut the head off it, broke the leg so it couldn't harm her. And even when she was in death kill, she was still trying to sort of attack me. I'm like, look, I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> Calm down, you know? So yeah. Where's the ferret? Okay, so if you're late uh, coming here, uh, basically the ferret, uh, both of them are actually asleep, which is um, it's a shame, but at the same time, uh, we did a live stream on Dan's channel before doing this, and they were both running around and being active. We have had them out on this stream as well, but 
they were asleep and that's why we just sort of just chatting away for a little bit so uh so yeah but i mean if they were to wake up then yeah i'll show you if not what you need to do is you need to go on to dan's channel which there's a link to that in the description of the video um and watch the live video that we did and you can actually see both of those uh playing and being all wonderful so mm -hmm. so yeah uh power feeding i don't recommend doing it i feed my teas usually once a week or so superworms are the most amusing spider food yeah i've been they are pretty good i've been feeding mine um the uh beetle larva uh fruit beetle larva so i got from my pet shop and they my spiders have been sort of quite enjoying those recently if you couldn't keep inverts what would you keep i'd have a sloth <laughs> or a skunk <laughs> Done. Uh, mm. I mean, you've got ferrets anyway, but apart from ferrets. See, this is really hard for me. Birds, probably. What kind of bird? Macaws. Macaws. I've always liked parrots and macaws. Macaws specifically. Like, I'd Those love... are the red ones, aren't they? Well, well red and blue. Yeah, yeah. I'd love a hyacinth macaw, but for £20,000, that's a bit too steep. <laughs> it's being cheap, basically. <laughs> <laughs> basically. If you really wanted one, you'd make it happen. Yeah. You could like sell your kidney. I could. That's a fire towards it. I need one, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do like my. I do like um, macaws and things as well. Um, any decent places you can buy reptiles online? Um, Exoticpets.co.uk is what I used. Uh, that's where I got Ramsey from. Really good price, good service, really really healthy. So yeah, that's what I would recommend personally. Uh, do you have any plans on keeping an aquatic animal in the future? I do. I'm going to get an axolotl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Like in the next year. I just need the uh, setup and stuff. So. You going for the dark one or the pink? Oh, I'd like a pink one, to be honest. Everyone wants a pink one. Yeah. But I know. This doesn't matter. I'd have an axolotl either way. Well, it doesn't matter what colour it is. You know, uh, Sidex, his partner, Ebony, she's got an axolotl. Nah, right. in, the, in the living room. They're great. I love They're one. They're so dopey. I love the way that they yawn. They're like, <laughs> oh, you know, like a mudkip in it, yeah. basically. Uh, yeah, I would like an axolotl. Um, I might get one at some point in the future, maybe. Who knows? Um, so, but yeah. How many slings do Cerdonias or most spiders have in a clutch? They vary with some species to species. Um, I believe Celadonia have about 15 eggs. Um, that's what I read in a, in a recent journal. Um, other spiders can have, you know, a couple of hundred, up to a couple of thousand uh, per clutch, so. It does vary. Hello to Peter, thank you for joining us. Do you know where I can buy Xenthus species or Pamphobita species? Um, if you're after, I know, I'm sure Xenthus, I'm sure Spice will have some of those. So maybe check out those first. Um, if not, if you inquire, they might be able to get on for you. Is he awake? Yeah. Oh, he's awake. Which is awesome. This is. Introduce him to the people that are... This is Boba Ferret. <laughs> it's such a stupid name. <laughs> it's not stupid, actually. He's, he's, he's wonderful. He's still a bit drowsy. He's still a bit tired. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's so wonderful. Absolutely love him. How many ferrets is good to have in one enclosure? Now... I don't know whether you can show them my cage. Not your cage, you want to be So that's about five foot by three foot or four foot. I'm not five foot something by something anyway. <laughs> it's big enough for about two or three, but uh, you can get much bigger enclosures. I know uh, some people like to house up to, I don't know, I think you can have up to about six or seven in like a double one of these, one that's like two of these wide but yeah they're uh, that's about it really yeah but I, in, a, in a cage that size i wouldn't recommend any more than about three or four uh uh yes that's why they're about 300 a piece actually no it's fair the celadonia more than that you, at the moment i've seen them recently for about 800 euros um Uh, Adrian T. Sardonia, all the way. Uh, Katie 
Balcom. How old is he? He's nine weeks old. Nine weeks old yesterday. Please tell the baby. Look at his little face. Look at him. Don't bite me. <laughs> Have he will. <laughs> he always bites, but this one does. So I like him when he's little, because he'd, he'd... Yeah, um, ferrets, very social animals. I wouldn't recommend keeping just one. Because uh, they get lonely. They get lonely. Yeah, they need things. They need. They need. Th they need each other to play with. And he's got ladies to play with now. Who's <laughs> and similar, my similar fingers that he keeps biting. Why are your fingers and my fingers? <laughs> oh, he's, he's he's so adorable. He's, he's really soft as well. Stop biting me. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was like a little lick, and then he changed his mind and started biting me again. Yeah, he's really soft. He is lovely. I have seen the micro ferret gene. I wouldn't get them myself. I don't think. I've turned into a complete melt looking at it. I just want to snuggle it. Oh, he is just snuggleable. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, but he just bites me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he's so cute, though. He's so, so fluffy and adorable looking. He had his first vet check on Friday. He's completely healthy. He's got nothing wrong with him. The only thing he's got wrong with him is me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's adorable. Absolutely adorable. I'd drop the camera down a bit. I think people would rather see the ferret than my forehead. Mm -hmm. Or forehead. He's a bit of a nibbler, but we'll get that out of him. Uh, goodbye, Spokane Survival Training. He's off to bed. Okay, good night. <laughs> Uh, the Latin for Salmon Pink Bird Eater is Lassie Dora Para High Banner. Good price for a Pima Taika local pet shop garden for 90 Uh Depends what the size is. You can buy a sling for about 20 quid usually. Uh, Dan, are they a lot of work to keep? No, not at all. Uh, you clean them out every couple of days, bath them once a month. Uh, that's if you're keeping them outside, uh, inside, sorry. If you're keeping them inside, you want to kind of manage the smell. You can't get rid of the smell. Like ferrets are going to have that musty smell to them you just can't get rid of it it's natural it's part of them if you don't like it then don't have ferrets <laughs> to, be fair, I to, love it. to be fair i can't really smell it like when they first came in i could sort of smell that that mm. ferret smell but you get used to it sort of so fast and it's not unpleasant yeah it's just a very like musky. baby ferrets smell what you think of baby ferret and smell like i think that smell i think it smells amazing ah, don't bite me <laughs> <laughs> It smells like a puppy. You know, when you have, you have like a puppy, you have a puppy dog smell. It's like that. Ah, Stop me. They don't. They don't smell really bad. I yeah. personally like the smell. I think it's nice. It's, it is quite. It's quite pleasant, to be fair. But like when you've got, um, if you've got, um, if you get a male and a female and you don't have them spayed and castrated, the smell will probably get a little bit unbearable. Because when she goes into heat, he's going to know and he's going to be letting off all that smell. So she kind of lets him do his thing, you know what I mean? But, uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it really bites me. Bless and him. That is... But yeah, that is... Uh, that's Boba. That's Boba Ferret. <laughs> Look how adorable he is. <laughs> I'm so adorable. <laughs> Dinner's ready in a minute. Oh, is it? Okay, we'll go down in a minute. Whatever you're ready. Do it end in a minute? Yeah, can do. Yeah, wrap it up. Okay then. Uh, no, the photos on my Miss Um No, been to Amazon rainforest. No. Um, so yeah, on what, what we're gonna do now? We're actually gonna end the uh, the video. The reason is because Dan has kindly invited me to come have a meal with his family. So um, I been told it's actually nearly ready now so we're gonna go and make a move downstairs and eat because nice i'm feeling roast lamb dinner Ooh. roast lamb i don't like lamb oh do you no i love lamb it's like my favorite <laughs> meat i love i love i love food um so yeah so right, we're gonna have some food in a minute so i just guess i want to sort of thank say thank you to everyone that has joined this uh feed it's a completely unplanned um uh, feed but it's been nice to have some of you sort of come and chat um, of course, 
please don't forget to like and leave a comment on my my other videos of course in the description of this video at the very top there'll be a link to Dan's YouTube uh, please head on over uh, subscribe um, let him know that you went to his channel from my channel by simply commenting saying happy birthday and because uh, his birthday in a couple of days and I'm driving everyone to sort of pester the hell out of him so yeah with that said everyone just thank you very much for joining um, and Bruce Bruce's comment Okay. It's all in their skin. Yeah, uh, you don't bath them more than once a month because it does damage the skin. Because ferrets do have very sensitive skin, and they need that oil to kind of yeah yeah maintain them maintain themselves. Okay. So yeah, well that's it, everyone. We are off. So thank you for joining us. Take thank care. You, Ash. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna comment happy birthday, we appreciate it. But go and do it on his channel on one of his videos. Just go and just bombard him and his social media, and just go and sort of. Uh, yeah, go and pester him. He would appreciate it. And I would appreciate it because it'll make my it made my day if you just like ruined his. So um <laughs> Jack just got here. We do apologise. Ah, uh, sorry Jack. We've been talking for like an hour on this channel and then we were on his channel previously as well. So yeah, thank you for joining us. Um and hopefully I'll be back with Dan doing some more filming in the future. Definitely. So just go and check him out. Alright? And for everyone else, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. See you guys. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye from us.